Hello guys! Today I will show you how to scatter trees, plants and bushes with the Chaos Scatter tool. Let's begin! This is my terrain. I've divided it into many parts. Here we have grass, this is a place for a building and this is footpath. Firstly, we need to create interesting terrain. To do this, I will use Sandbox plugin. The link to this plugin is in the description of the video. To turn it on, just right click and choose Sandbox. Firstly, I will create terrain mesh. To do this, I click on this tool. Let's see that here I have grid spacing. I will change it to 100 centimeters and I can start drawing. I click in the corner, I click second time and third time. I will select shapes which I've created before and I will move them up by 1000 centimeters. To divide this terrain mesh, I will copy all these objects. I move it to the right side, press left control and move it to the right by 10,000 centimeters. I do it again. It's done. I would like to create these shapes on my terrain mesh. To do this, I will use Drape tool. It's very simple. Just click on this tool, click on the plane and click on the mesh. It's done. Let's take a look. I will delete all the planes and let's see that the edges are projected. Now it will be much simpler to delete unnecessary faces. It's done. This is my first mesh. Let's move on and create a second mesh. I click on the drape tool, click on this plane, click on the terrain and it's done. And I can delete unnecessary geometry. Okay, it's done. And the last terrain. I will use these meshes to the left side by 10,000 centimeters and by 20,000 centimeters. These are my terrain mesh. I've divided it into three parts because now it will be much easier to control grass, trees and plants. As we know, foreground will be more detailed and the background will be not as detailed as the foreground. I will unhide house and footpath layers and it's done. Let's change this terrain. With the sandbox, it's much easier. Let's take a look. I double click on the mesh. I click on the smooth tool. I come a little closer. Let's say that in the bottom right corner, I can change the radius. I will change it to 2000. And I can move the ground. I can move it up. I can move it down. I can change the radius again. And it's done. I will do the same with another terrain. Now it's time to reverse faces. So let's click on the faces and reverse them. Now we have front faces. Firstly, I will create material for the glass. To do this, I will use Chaos Cosmos browser. I go to the materials, to the grant category, and I choose grass material. I import it. I open V-Ray Asset Editor. I go to the materials and I apply these materials to the terrain. I go to the scene one and let's check the render. And this is our render. It looks fine, but as we can see, we need to create grass, trees and plants. Let's start with grass. To do this, I will choose three or four types of grass. I go to the Chaos Cosmos, Vegetations, 3D Models and Flowers, Grass and Rocks. I will choose Ray Grass 004. I will place it here. Then Ray Grass 005. I import Ray Grass 006. And maybe something different, maybe this one. It's done. I'd like to place these grass models on the terrain. To make it much easier, I will use V-Ray Scatter tool. Remember to right click and choose V-Ray Objects. Thanks to this, you can use these scatter tools very easily. Firstly, I select the area. I click on this terrain, choose Scatter over Selection, and it's done. I go to the V-Ray Asset Editor, to Geometry tab, and we have first Scatter option. I will rename it to Scatter Grass. Now I will select these four grass models 
and add guests. Thanks to this, my models are placed randomly on the terrain. Let's check the render. Grass is very small and it's not dense enough. We need to change it. To do this, I go to the scatter options and change the density. For example, 250. Let's see that the density value is higher and there will be more grass models on the terrain. Fine, but my grass models are too small. We can fix it very simply. I go to the scatter options, scale, and I can change scale multiplier. I would like to have grass models four times bigger. So I type four in the scale multiplier. Let's say that additionally, we can change random minimum and random maximum factor. If I change this value to 0, 7 and 1.3, the grass will be more diverse. Let's check the render. And this is my render. Now the grass looks very realistic. Let's move on. I click on the scatter viewer. I turn it off. SketchUp will work much faster. And I will do the same in this area. I go to the asset editor, right click on the scatter grass, duplicate. I select this area, right click, apply to selection. It's done. Let's see that all the options are copied except for the models. I need to select them and again choose add guests. It's done. I go to the scene one and let's check the render. Let's remember that the foreground on the visualization is much more important. That's why I will add additional plants on this terrain. I go to the Chaos Cosmos browser and I will import more models. I will import giant feather grass. I place it here, flower meadow, and Japanese lawn grass. I will scale this giant feather glass because it's too big. And let's click on the terrain. Again, choose scatter over selection. Then I go to the geometry tab. I rename new scatter option. Then I select models and choose Add Guests. Then I change density, it will be much smaller than 50, 0 0.2. Sometimes you need to check a few times which value is the best. Then I go to the Scale tool, I will scale it to 2.5, change the random, minimum, maximum, you can leave it as it is, or change it slightly, and render. And now it looks much better, the grass in the foreground is much more interesting. Remember that here we have probability. If we want to have more flower meadow or a Japanese low grass, we can increase this value, for example, to two, and then we'll have more Japanese long grass and less flower and giant feather grass. So you can set the probability of the model to appear on the terrain. I will leave it as it is. It's time to create scatter for the trees. I will choose the trees, I go to the Chaos Cosmos, go to the trees category, I will type oak and I import some models, this one, this and the third one. Okay, it's fine, I can scale this model a little bit. I click on the face, choose scatter over selection, then I go to the asset editor, I will rename new scatter option, then I select trees, I add guests, I change the density value to 0.01. Okay, we need to change scale multiplier, I would like to have smaller trees to 0.6, and I change random minimum and random maximum value. That's all. I got this in one and render. And now the background looks much better. It's time to work with the foreground. Firstly, I will place the trees. I will do this manually because I would like to set them in the exact places. These trees are placed in the exact position and you will notice that these trees create shadows. It's very important to have on the visualization places with shadows and with sun. Let's take a look. I go to the scene one and let's render the scene. And this is my render. Let's see that the trees on the foreground looks very interesting and additionally they create shadows. 
We can notice it here and over here. So remember to place these trees correctly, because when they are making shadows, the render looks much more interesting. I think that a good idea is to add some plants over here. I will do this manually. I go to the Chaos Browser, I click on the Shrubs and Bushes category, and I choose this model, and choose Field Grass 10. I will scale it and place it in the foreground. And let's render. And this is my final visualization. Let's see that we have created surrounding very easily using Scatter Tool and Chaos Cosmos browser. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about Vue for SketchUp, check out my website edac.org. You will find there many courses, free assets, 3D models, and articles. See you there.